All right, for those of you who don't think that you have enough space to grow anything edible, uh, you can see here I have a about a five foot tall piece of uh, plastic four inch drainage pipe. I've put a plug in the bottom and I have drilled holes about six inches apart all the way around the full height. I filled it with potting soil, peat moss and perlite. Um, I probably should have put more perlite in in, in retrospect but uh, you know to promote better drainage and better oxygenation of the soil. <clears throat> and then I planted uh, <clears throat> some strawberries and I put a raspberry in the top and I've got some mint uh, there down at the bottom just starting and in this you know in this space I'm going to be planting uh, sugar snap peas and I don't know I'll try all kinds of things in here um, maybe a tomato plant or two but this concept is very adaptable you can get a bigger diameter planter you can hang up uh, tomato out of the bottom and put peppers up the side and maybe another tomato or two towards the top. You can put a lot of plants in a narrow in a relatively narrow area and it's very easy to care for. You just water and feed it from the top uh, periodically. Um, you can hang it or I've got it hanging from an anchor bolt. Um, so you could hang it on your porch if all you have is a, a deck on an, in an apartment. Um, or you know your front porch whatever you can hang it in you can hang it from the eaves of your house you can stand it up you could stand up dozens of these in the yard um, if you anchored them properly into the ground so there's a way for virtually anybody to uh, to grow stuff in in any amount of space